You know, if I were Iron Man, I'd have this girlfriend who knew my true identity. She'd be a wreck. She'd always be worrying that I was going to die. Yet so proud of the man I'd become. She'd be wildly conflicted, which would only make her more <clears throat> crazy about me. Tell me you never think about that night. What night? You know. Are you talking about the night that we danced and went up on the roof and and then you went downstairs to get me a drink and you left me there by myself? Is that the night you're talking about? Mm-hmm. That's so. Will that be all? Yes, Mr. that will be all, Miss Pounce. And now Mr. Stark has prepared a statement. He will not be taking any questions. Thank you. Uh, been a while since I was in front of you. I figure I'll stick to the cards this time. <laughs> <clears throat> There's been speculation that I was involved in the events that occurred on the freeway and the rooftop. I'm sorry, several... Mr. Stark, but do you honestly expect us to believe that that was a bodyguard in a suit? that conveniently appeared, despite the fact that you I know that it's how... confusing. It is one thing to question the official story and another thing entirely to make wild accusations or insinuate that I'm uh, a superhero. I never said you're a superhero. Didn't? Mm -mm. Well, good, because that would be outlandish and uh, fantastic. I, I, I'm just not the, the hero type, clearly, with this uh, laundry list of character defects, all the mistakes I made, largely public. Yeah, okay, yeah. The truth is, I am Iron Man. <laughs>